Good evening and welcome to Rinkside with Red Hockey. Tonight's coverage is the NIHL Telford Tigers taking on the Blackburn Hawks. One of the new additions to the NIHL this season was Phil Mackay coming up from Coventry. I had a chat to him earlier. So, how are you finding your time here at Telford? Yeah, it's a, it's a really good organisation. I mean, we're getting good training from uh, the EPL down to the NL. Uh, uh, it's a great team, a great bunch of guys. Now, it's going to be quite a tough game tonight. Of course, Blackburn riding high at the top of the table. You haven't got all your guys with players out on GB due to some playing up for the Tigers. So it's going to be a tough challenge for you guys tonight. Yeah, definitely going to be a challenge, but it means some of us get more ice time to show what we can do. And we're just going to work hard to see what happens. Fantastic. Good luck in tonight's game. All right. Thanks, man. See you later. So the NIHL Tigers taking on the Blackburn Hawks, who were top of the league until last week. Their bubble was burst last week up at uh, Whitley Bay where, where they lost the first game of the season, so a disappointment for them, but they'll be looking to bounce back tonight. Absolutely. The Telford Tigers not at full strength. They've got a player away on international duties and several of their first-line forwards have been called away to play for the Tigers tonight. That's right, and it's one of the perils of having a good system in place where uh, the, the, the Tigers are looking for NHL guys for support, and tonight they've needed that support down in Milton Keynes, as you say. It's going to be hard work for these guys tonight. Let's have a look and see how the NHL Telford Tigers Tigers get on against the Blackburn Hawks. It must be strange for these guys, although they'll be used to it now when you, when you play Playing in away. what was the rink you learned to play in. It's your home rink because I think a lot of these guys yeah. uh, still do live around the Telford area. But it's, I, uh, I can remember the first year Daniel was playing for Blackburn and um, he, he turned up. And he wasn't icy. And I said, what the matter, don't you do away games? <laughs> he only lives two minutes down the road. So the referee, Freeman, drops the puck. Telford win it. Goes back to the D. Goodwin banks it off the boards. Uh, goes long. And now Blackburn just setting up behind the net. Blackburn playing in black tonight with a red outline number, which is not the easiest thing to no. read for us old men. <laughs> puck passes off to the left wing, but Blackburn failed to receive it. Tigers have possession in Blackburn and just trying to set up. It's a bit Wash, strappy still. Washburn trying to push behind the net. And and what's interesting is you're missing within Telford's forward that senior hockey experience. Yep. Smith shoots from the point. Brittle makes the save, the puck drifts down to the corner. But this is how it has to develop with these guys being pushed into it like totally. this. Totally. Yeah, they'll develop. Brittle drives forward, carries it on his own. Beber is with him, but he gets held up well by the defenseman. Smith picks up the puck. Goodison part the body, and that was good play from the Telford defence. Smith's through, walks in, puts it across, and the shot comes across from the skate in there. I think it was number 13 at McCullochai. Another shot from Smith, and another shot from McCullochai, and this time it deflects from Brittle's pads into the corner, and suddenly Telford getting a good couple of shots away during this power play. Well, that was a beautiful play, because you would have, you would have bet your house on Smith taking a shot, yeah. and he kind of faked it and passed it across. Brittle on the break for Blackburn Hawks curls inside shoots round Dan Harrison the defenceman but it's not on target it hits the glass and comes back up ice and now the Blackburn Hawks return to full strength so we're back to five on five but not a bad power play for the Telford Tigers and a good kill from the Blackburn Hawks play the stretch pass drive forward in the slot wrist shot comes out goes wide to the right of the post and deflects off the the uh, barrier, and there's a bit of a battle on the boards just in front of the Tigers' dressing room exit. Bentham tries to push the puck down. I think, I think Daniel Britton will... Oh, and the shot to... comes in, it comes from the front. And uh, I'm not quite sure who scored it, but Bentham was there. I think it's Jordan Bannon, number 11. So I think that's going to be credited to him. Uh, the goal was scored at 8 minutes and 16 seconds. It was an even-handed goal. The first goal of the night for the Blackburn Hawks, putting them 1-0 up. Smith just encroaching in, so really the centre guy should go out. They get away with it. Smith banks the puck off the boards. Blackburn hold it in. Davis sends it round the boards. Goodison tries to hold him up. They've got it in Gretzky's office at the back of the net. Davis is riding high in the slot. There's pushing and shoving, and now suddenly there's a bit of pushing and shoving on the back door between Price as well and this is the sort of stuff yep. get an early penalty let them calm down and let them concentrate on playing hockey because otherwise this it's stuff's going to carry yeah, over you see this last 10 minutes from Blackburn has been permanent pressure and nothing has resulted from it no. that's what I mentioned earlier I think Dan McCreel's going to be more annoyed than the feeling to put away yeah because you'd think looking at the stats of who's available and who isn't the Blackburn should walk this yeah and, and Parry will be saying, OK, well, we've got to defend and we're defending. Lee's using that long reach to tip the puck forward, finds Washburn, dumps it into the end zone. 
And the guy, the guy they're going to look to to score for Telford is Smith. He's taking a break at the moment. He's another guy that's on the front. Bentham with the backhands it round. Rod, that's close to offside again. As he just held onto the puck that little bit too long. McCullochai forward to Smith, walks in, winds up, fakes, carries it round, shoots and, and scores, scores, putting it back on the level, pegging. Uh, look at look at look at, ref, look at look at look at the ref. Look at look at the ref. Look at Daniel Brittle chirping off at the defenceman for allowing him to walk in. And that's the problem with Daniel. When he's on form, he is amazing. If you can throw him off his game, that'll count in Telford's favour because he's really frustrated and not happy with this defenceman here. The other yeah. one goes back to have a word. But he's got that defenceman label for that goal and it's one apiece now. 16 minutes and 27 seconds, scored by James Smith. Telford are the underdogs, let's, let's not beat around the bush given the, given the squads on paper and how many players Telford have missed. Smith putting the pressure back on the defenceman. It's the guy that made errors before. Now Blackburn tipped the puck off the boards into neutral ice, but Lees using the long reach of his stick. And it's as you said, that goal, if, you, if Smith gets a one-on-one, -on -one, you'd go with Smith every, every time. time. Exit, I was every just saying time. he's taking a rest. He's, he's on the verge of playing for Viney the Tigers. Cuts through for the Blackburn hook. Puts oh, it across in front, goal. and it was picked up on the back post. I'm not sure who the... Blackburn player was scoring, but he was on the back post. Viney did all the work, carried it round, put it across on the backhand, and then they find the top left-hand corner. So now, 2-1 the scoreline, which I'm sure Dan will be more impressed by. Second Blackburn goal, scored on 16 minutes and 58 seconds. Now drive forward. Pulls inside, <laughs> lets a rocket go, but it goes wide to the left. Deflects, Blackburn pick it back up in neutral ice. Anon drives forward, hits the blue line, passes across. Loses possession, now Matt Price curls up ice, looks for the stretch, pass to Smith, it's a one on no. oh, and a great save from Brittle. Brittle. He's got a pad save and a stick pay, and then the rebound comes to Price, and Price gets another stick away. That was a great save from Daniel Brittle, because that could have evened it up going into the next period. Uh, we've got a listener out in Moscow again, Olga. Good evening, Olga. We'll be having a good day out there. Is it snowing? I wish it would snow here, it's freezing enough. Puck comes across high to Gareth Bufton as well, who's listening to the commentary online. Um, whilst in recuperation, Viney drives over, wrist shots from the left side, and a stick save from Dennis Bell's stick, drifting into the corner. The NHL Telford Tigers won, the Blackburn Hawks two at the end of the first period. 2-1 the scoreline at the end of the first period. The NHL Telford Tigers taking on Blackburn Hooks. Blackburn's second goal, textbook. Guy goes in on the back post and then the pass comes across, pops it in the back of the net, job done. But uh, Smith got his breakaway there, put the first one in and I thought the second one should have gone with him as well. But Daniel Brittle said, no, no, no. Well, we spoke about this tonight. Uh, you know, the, the Tigers are, are relying on Smith. He's, he's the goal scorer, he's a top goal scorer. He puts more away than anybody. And he's doing the, 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 the playing this long stretch pass up the middle of the ice and it's worked once. It almost worked the second time. But as you say, Brittle was irate when the first one went in. Yep. And he, he wasn't up, happy with the defenceman at all. He stood up to it for the second one. He saw it coming. Absolutely. Let's take a look and see what happens in the second period action. Well, they're so, all huge, huge games, but uh, let's concentrate on the one drops. in hand. Price for Telford gets it across to Smith, sends it back to Goodison, banks it off the boards. A non takes possession, gives it forward to Adam Brittle, puts forward on the backhand. Price tries to hold him, gets a second attempt away. The backhanded shot comes across from Pullet and he ends up behind the net. Puck goes up to the high slot, comes across Sice. A non shoots from the point, miles wide to the right, drops it on the backhand. McCullochai comes in, block a save into the corner. You see the best of the action Wednesday night, big centre TV, 9 30, available online if you're not in the West Midlands area at www bigcenter.tv the pressure's still on from the Hawks here they're circling round shot from in front and it's all over the place Dennis Bell makes the save it drops in front of him and he quickly uses his catching mitt to cover it up for a stoppage in play but comes through McCullough can drives through oh, pulls okay. inside he literally took it round the defenceman and Mitchum Went and give Callum Griffin a push in front of the net where he was waiting for a rebound opportunity. But good hands, taking it through the defenceman, beating past him, heading down to Brittle, who came up with a save that was needed there. It was needed. It was beautiful play. Nutmeg play onto the goalkeeper and a save. Yeah. I hope it's going to come to them. 
Face off in the top. Oh, shot shot comes oh, away from Brilliant. That was an bound. amazing play. Off the draw. Straight one on the backhand across to Daniel uh, Adam Brittle. Adam let a rocket of a shot go, and Dennis Bell picked it out of the air with his catching mitt. And you could see Adam congratulate Dennis well, on the save we there. We had a direct line of sight of that. That, that was, was an amazing was shot. Call, shot of the season one. we'll take that one for. Great piece of net minding and a rocket of a quick release shot straight off the draw from Adam Brittle. And that oh, one and he's just was the quite exact the opposite, opposite oh, now no. as the Blackburn Hawks <laughs> pull it, curls up towards the face-off dot, shoots on the ice, trickle a shot and it finds its way into the right-hand side. We'll be back with more ice hockey action straight after the break. Welcome back to the Telford Tigers. This is ringside with Red Hockey. The defenseman comes across and now possession changes as Anon comes driving through from the Blackburn Hawks, hits the blue line, holds up. Viney goes in, makes the swings at the shot and then it was scooped off the ice by Dennis Bell's catching mitt. Ball comes across, Brittle. Angled away to the corner, Looking intercepted Smith. from Brittle, Smith headman to Smith. He's taken out. Aston oh. comes through, picks up the puck, drifts off his stick. If he can get it back to Smith, Smith winds up. First time shot and a great save from Daniel Brittle. The second attempt comes in from 13 as the Hooter sounds. Brittle reaches for the puck, but it goes over his head and into the glass. And it's the Blackburn Hawks, 3-1 up at the end of the second. So at the end of the second period, it's 3-1 in favour of the Blackburn Hawks. Only the one goal, such a shame for Dennis Bell, came up with that corking save from that first time shot off the draw from Adam Brittle, who Adam congratulated him on that save himself. And then minutes later, a soft one from the face-off duck. That's it. You know, Dennis Bell had a fantastic period there. We were commentating throughout how well he was playing. As you say, he picked that brilliant shot out yeah. of the air from Brittle and then that the most softest of goals in. And Telford haven't had many opportunities at all against Daniel Brittle. There's a couple, but Daniel played with a lot of confidence, kept him out. The one where he played the pass away from in front when there was literally two players on you. You need a lot of balls for a netminder to play a pass well, like he, that. He played it like an out player, you know, but, but again, as we commentated, that, that period was quite awful, to be honest. I didn't see yeah. one breakout come from the Tigers. The chances that they did get were scrappily sort of turned around in mid-ice. There was nothing set up. And I guess they're missing the experience of those guys that are here with the Tigers tonight. Absolutely. We'll see if they've got what it takes to bring it back as they're 3-1 down, going into the start of the third period action. I had a quick word with uh, Jason Parry. Yeah. Just before the guys came back out there, and he said, You know, with the squad he's got, he's quite pleased with the workload that they're putting in. Yeah, the skill's not there, I guess, but the, he says for effort, he's not. He can't, he can't fault the work, right? He can't fault the And there's nothing you can do about players that aren't icing. So now, as a game, <laughs> Brittle come. I hate the way, well, I don't, I, I respect the way, but as a coach, I hate the way he takes his stick, switches his hands yeah, over, makes and starts hand. passing it off. Yeah, and um, yeah. It's a very bold, confident thing to do, yeah. but if it goes wrong, yeah. goes wow. Wrong. So let's see what the Tigers can pull out of the bag, if anything, on this period. It's Smith, Smith. drives forward, First gets a wrist shot, shot go into the body of Daniel Brittle. The NIHL Telford Tigers. Puck comes up to the point. Comes Ooh, across, oh! Tip. Yeah, it came across and just got a little bit of a tip and it hit Dennis Bell's pads, I think, twice. Oh, really? First he, by he, the he knee and then... Back. And it's given away again. And it comes and in front of the shot and goal! Home. And that... And I think, I think it might have been Crofty that gave it away. Yeah. He, tried, he tried to skate it out of his own zone, he was robbed. And they Blackburn. passed it across, let the shot go high into the right side very quickly, putting the Backburn Hawks on the score sheet once again. So they've got a goal in the last period, and already at 1 minute 37 seconds into the third period, they pick up goal number four. 4-1 four the scoreline. Betheridge swings the stick. Smith not being on the ice for so long, there's only so much the lad can do. Yeah, and he'll just tire out. He's calling for the puck, but yeah. the, the problem is... The forecheck is able Look to get it face. to him. He's yeah, yeah. He's grimacing now. He's, he's absolutely tired. Bendra. Nice Onto the back post, oh, and I think yeah. that went in from Matt Lees. I'm not sure that the player cut yeah. through. 
And then the shot comes away and it took a deflection. Dennis Bell skates out, frustrated, just bangs towards the boards. And now the drive forward continues. They try to hustle out of the way. Cross ice. Comes through to the slot. Croft, backhand swing. Careful for too many men. Bethridge waits beautifully for his player to step off the ice before touching the puck. He tried to play that back into his own end. Oh, he oh, shot and goal! Word. Up into the top left-hand corner, the light went on. And that was a fantastic finish <laughs> from James Reedy, I think it is. And he was the guy that got the second goal. Yeah. Riddick. I think it was. And it doesn't make for a good game as well from a spectator's point no. of view. But uh, nevertheless, here we go. Betheridge. Washburn. Drives the right side, switches sides. Flips it across the netminder deep into the slider skate shop corner. Bit of a lunge towards the puck. Brittle. Walks down. Carries it behind the net, cools the cucumber, puts it inside. Pollock scrapes in, shoots at it, comes back out to Butler. Oh, lovely goal. Butler lovely sends goal it across point. to a nom. The shot comes from the point, finds its way through the players into the back of the net for goal number seven. It was a nom that scored it for the Blackburn Hawks. This one timed on 51 minutes and 28 seconds, exactly one minute after the previous goal. As I say, I couldn't see it saying it's 6 1, now 7 1. Smith's just shaking his head. He's got to. Yeah. He's got to not shake his head. He's got to grit his teeth and bear down now. Problem is, once you're knackered, you're knackered. Yeah. You can't let it show though. So I say, if I was Jason Parr, I'd get a bucket of water down all the necks. And say, come on, guys. Cross anyway. ice pass now. Blackburn. Step up, wind up, Brittle with a big shot and a great catch him it safe from Dennis Bell again. It seems that Brittle shots are the one that. Uh, Dennis Bell makes those catches on. As I said, he's... That was uh, a really good save. He's keeping the score at 7-1. Face-off just outside Telfer's defensive blue line. The Tigers 1-30 on a power play. Not looking remotely anywhere like even setting up. He Blackburn like... dumped the puck down ice. Griffin pulling the stretch this time. Yeah. Curls back in, Goodison walks it in. He's got Griffin with him. Leans in, puts a delay pass, walks in. Shot comes in from McCulloch High. There's a call. I don't know whether that hit his head or whether the net was off. I think but it was, was on the puck's gone on the back of the net, but it's overlapped into the net from right. the back, if you think, from the outside. Yeah, yeah. So two or three players put their arm in the air saying, uh, we'll have a stoppage of play now, if you don't mind. It, it appears that the Tigers have just run out of steam now. Yeah. I think, I think, in all honesty, they ran out of steam a long time ago. So. Yeah. Walking for oh, a shot and goal. Word. That was oh, a greatly oh. placed goal. I think it was Lime. Bannon and that. Um, look, look at the smile on his face. Yeah. He knows that was special. Well, it was either because it was a hell of a finish, or he's not very often scoring goals. Now the thing is, he's gesturing over. It's Bannon, uh, who's quite a character yeah. for the Blackburn Hawks and has been for years. Smith, Aston, four Telford players up on the blue line. Aston still working away. The puck's loose. It's there. Just, just put some wood on it. Oh, what a Blackburn fire into McKillar. Got his body. His shot comes in. And then the backhanded shot from James Smith is on the side netting. Uh, there's a bit of words exchanged between Bannon, but that's his fault from the way he celebrated, I think, the yeah. goal he scored, whether it was the seventh or the eighth. Can't quite remember which. Yeah, there's a little bit of a crowd gathered at the Tigers bench. And... Stop what? talking, guys. If you're going to do it, drop your gloves and do it. What, 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 what? And there's very little, yap, point. Yap, yap, there's very yap, little yap. point now up for yeah. either side. Nobody wants any injuries. There's no point, but so what's the point in that gathering? You know, either do it or don't do it. Get on with it. And on drops his stick. Oh, look, Matt Lees caught the puck and threw it forward. It's uh, They're calling for a hand pass, and it was. But uh, in fairness, if the player had spent more time... To, oh, net was off. And a penalty's called. Delaying the game, I reckon. So we line up for a face-off. So, five on three. Let's give us a goal. 40... No. 37 seconds to play. Five on three. Comes back to Smith. Winds up. Rocket of a shot. And a brilliant catch in mid-save from Daniel Brill. Just plucked it out, sort of at waist height, with every confidence. That's probably the first thing he's had to do this period, I guess. Mm. He's come with some good ones where, where it's needed. Aston. Five on three, goes across, Harrison drives down. 
Looks to pick up the puck behind the net. Backhands it down into the corner. Joe Aston back behind the net. Dan Harrison picks it up, playing forward. You got those quicker legs up front, and he switched places with Smith. Shoot to Harrison. Second. First time shot. Rockets nearly takes the head off his own player as Matt Price comes across the front, and there is one second in the game. Five on three. Mixlaw.com forward slash Telford Tigers. They drop the puck and the game ticks by. It'll finish off 8-1 in favour of the Blackburn Hawks. Thank you very much for listening. We'll be back next Saturday from 6 o'clock when the Telford Tigers take on the Bracknell Bees. So a tough game tonight. It started well, but I think they just ground you down over time with the players you were missing. Yeah, we were missing some firepower and uh, all the guys I thought really worked hard and we were in the game up until the third period. Uh, they're, they're a really good team, you know, the champions... Last year they gone, went 18 months unbeaten, and when they sense blood, and you know they know how to go for it. Absolutely, uh, some great saves from Dennis Bell as well. He had a good game. Yeah, he, he really had a good game. He made some good saves. Um, there was two two guys I thought that really played well that was out there as well. Was the two centermen? We rolled two centermen all game. It was real hard work for him. Two young guys and uh, Matt Price and uh, Phil Mulcahy did a great job too. And of course, it's an opportunity for those younger guys who don't see much ice to get some real game time under the belt. Yeah, and and see some power play time as well and, and some penalty kill time. I don't think we did any penalty kill actually, but you know they saw some key minutes on top line, so it was good for them. Not the best of results for the Telford Tigers from the NHL, finishing 8-1 down to second place Blackburn Hawks. Now, the next home game is on Saturday the 19th of December when the EPL Telford Tigers take on the Bracknell Bees. It's a 6 o'clock face-off, Saturday the 19th, and you can get tickets still online at tigershockeyuk.com. This is Ringside with Red Hockey.